Hi. Today we're gonna talk about how to make your own homemade ice chest fog chiller. It's pretty simple and all it uses is an ice chest from Walmart, some PVC piping, some spray paint, a little metal grating, and that's it. And you'll be able to create cool, ice cold fog that lays nicely along the ground for your cemetery. So let's begin. Uh, I have a 48 quart igloo ice chest from Walmart and I've got a two uh, foot piece of uh, PVC pipe which is a two inch PVC. I've got a couple elbows. I've got three uh, adapters that take PVC pipe from three inches down to two inches. I've got a few uh, zip ties that are 12 uh, inches long each and they're black got my gloves on of course. I've got some black Krylon Fusion plastic paint. Got some wire cutters. Got some tin snips, marker, and some diamond cut metal grating which we'll go into that in a little bit later. So one of the first things you want to do with the ice chest is measure up on each end from the bottom right where the seam is about five inches up and put a nice little cross there on each side. What that does, that gives us an area that we're going to drill through in a moment to make the hole to insert the PVC pipe that will run through the ice chest. So let's start with that. And all you do is you, you have a, a, a saw bit here, a hole cutter, mounted on your, your power drill. And you just put that on the hole and go through all the way through your ice chest. And on the other side of the ice chest, the same thing. You have the five inch up high hole in the seam. You put the point of the drill bit there. And on your hole saw, you... And to get the, the foam and the plastic out of the inside of your hole saw, all you do is get a pair of scissors or a screwdriver under the plastic there and just pop it up. All right, so there we go. Nice round hole on both sides. In the different kinds of ice chest coolers on the inside, there's different metals that are used and gratings. The most common is probably this one, which is a half inch by half inch square galvanized. And, and it does a pretty good job, but what I wanted to do with, with 
mine is to use something different. It's a diamond metal grating. It's galvanized also, but it has about three times or four times the surface area because it's a little tighter woven, but the, the metal, instead of being thin wires, are actually flat and have a larger area to them. So that'll give you a larger area of cooling for the fog to hit against this cold metal where it's covered with ice. So my thinking here is, We'll, we'll actually put this inside versus the regular half by half galvanized grating and get a better effect for chilling the fog. So let's cut this into a piece we need. So this is a sheet, it comes in a two by eight and we'll be cutting it into much smaller pieces. So what I've done here for the next step is I've go ahead and taken the PVC pipe and put it through one of the holes on one of the ends, mounted one of the two to three inch adapters that's funnel shaped on the PVC and put it flush against there and then measure it across because our wire will actually go uh, inside of this and all the way across and it actually is 17 and a half inches from side to side when you lay the whole thing out here. So what we'll be doing in a minute here is making a 17 and a half inch piece of metal tube that's that's hollow with the metal grating here is to take the metal grating at about 17 and a half inches because that's how long it is from end to end in our cooler with the pvc piping and just make some marks at 17 and a half and we'll go ahead and we'll cut that with some tin snips in just a minute as we cut along here with the tin snips at, the, at 17 and a half inches across it just it cuts pretty easily. And there we go. There's my glove along the way, but you see how it is. This is a diamond cut and it's wide. Again, it's nothing like the other wire type of grating. This has got some depth to it and a lot more surface area. The next step is, after you have your two foot long piece of diamond grating, it's 17 and a half inches wide that you've cut, you just roll it up to fit into the two end pieces of your openings here on your PVC pipes. So we roll this up. and snug and if all goes well have this fitting right inside there without having to use any uh, zip ties so that gives us nice ventilation through it but yet enough openings that everything that with the fog should be able to be chilled into 17 the 17 and a half inch piece of, of diamond grating all rolled up we have the PVC pieces on the end and the adapters fit right to the end there. So when you're able to put the PVC pipes in on each end, it'll then hold this and stabilize it. So we know that it fits. For the next step, we need to cut the PVC pipe to start to make the vertical and horizontal parts that take the fog from the machine into the chest and out. On your PVC pipes, there's different ways to cut it. You know, I use a power miter saw. I also use hack saws, uh, you know, pipe saws. And you can also use an oscillating tool. I've got a Rockwell oscillating. You know, it's safe, it doesn't cut your finger and you can go right around the pipe and cut it. Whatever works for you. But a, a power miter saw, really, uh, it takes one second and that's it. So what we'll do is we'll cut, and I like to use the right hand side of the chest as the inflow is we'll use a, a piece of you PVC or an oscillating uh, saw before basically it just shakes there's no cutting um, around like a rotary saw it just shakes very quickly and Well, 
after we have our, our screen mesh piece cut and inserted in here, we know that it's wide enough at 17 and a half inches, we have to put two pieces of PVC pipe, one on each end, to let the fog go in and out. On the left hand side, we'll put a three and a half inch piece of PVC pipe. It'll go in through the hole and into the adapter here, that's three quarters of an inch deep. And then we'll cut a piece, we'll do a three inch piece for over here on the right side. And it'll go in, in from this side into there and stick out about uh, three quarters of an inch. the piece going across the bottom, let's go ahead and put in one of the elbow joints on the outside of the pipe that brings the fog in from the top inside. And basically it's taking that piece right against there and snugging it up. And that's three quarters of an inch inside. And it's anchored. The next part we want to do is put a piece of pipe from the top to the bottom here. here and just putting one of the elbows here on the bottom of the inlet going from the fog machine down. And now we want to have a piece of PVC going up to here. And to do this, what we'll do is measure, we'll put the pipe inside that three quarters of an inch that goes inside. and then measure about where we need to have this to line up. Again, this won't go right against it. It'll be back a little bit. And you know, right in this area here should be fine. If we cut it right about there, that should be lining up well enough because we're gonna have an extra piece in just a moment that'll actually bring in air along with the fog uh, from there. So let's do that. Now let's put on the fogger normally without any chiller using the uh, Froggy's uh, bog fog in the Chauvet 1300, 20,000 cubic feet per minute fogger. And it rises pretty quickly. Okay, let's shoot the Froggy's bog frog Bog fog, the froggies, <laughs> bog fog, with the, with the uh, fog chiller. This is about half the ice I normally use. I use usually three bags, this is a bag and a half. 